Hello everyone! First of all, please let me introduce myself. My name is Sofia Kania Kusmaningrum, you can call me Kania. I'm a student from Pembangunan Jaya University, which is located in South Tangerang in Indonesia. And now I'm taking architecture major. But in this video, I'm not going to talk about both my campus and my major that I take, but in this video, I will talk about one of the most unique tourist destinations in Indonesia, which I have already visited. So, I will share the information about this place, as well as I promote it to you all. So, are you guys already curious about the destination that I'm in? Then watch this video until it's finished! If you are traveling Indonesia, especially Semarang, I know for sure that you want to take a vacation. But it's also great that you to be able to learn about the culture and history of the places that you are visiting. And in Sampokong, you can get those things.
Sampokong is a temple that was built as a symbol of respect for Admiral, also General Cheng Ho's merit in developing trade, agriculture, and Islamic activities. He was someone who was appointed as the royal ambassador during the Yongle Empire of the Ming Dynasty. He began his voyages on trade destinations in the early 15th century from China to the rest of the world. He came to Indonesia with 400 ships and 28,000 crew and troops. And for arrival in Semarang itself, it happened because an accident because the deputy commander was sick so he got traded in a cave in Sampokong's area. And for the name Sampokong, the name appears because him and his two representatives were such great people which Sam means three and Sampokong means three great people. From this temple, you can see three combination of red, yellow, and green colors as a representation of religious and cultural harmony in Indonesia, especially in Semarang. Which yellow and red represent Chinese and green represent Islam. This was made because Admiral Cheng Ho was a Chinese Muslim. As we know that the Admiral Cheng Ho was a Chinese Muslim, therefore there is a prayer room that we call it Musala that function as a place of worship for Muslims in this temple area which is generally used for Tridharma worship. So how was the trip guys? I hope that from the video you can be more interested and curious to come to Sampakong. Also, you don't need to be worried about not be able to learn more about the history in there because this destination provides the tourist guide that will carry you around while explaining. Oh yes, by the way, Sampokong is located in Simongan, Semarang, Central Java, so there are also many historical and tourist attractions that can be visited that are close to Sampokong, such as Lawang Sewu, a heritage of the Dutch nation and Grand Mosque of Central Java as a Muslim tourist spot. Now we have reached the end of the video. <laughs> but by the way guys, thank you for watching it. I hope you all will learn something new and at the same time, you guys have a high curiosity about Indonesia, especially for its rich culture. And thank you guys, so... Bye-bye!